If you're like me, you run your station like a tight ship. No dead air, no lags between songs, jingles, or other elements. Things just keep moving beautifully, one thing to the next. I'm Jeff, the Radio DJ Dude, and for the most part, Radio DJ does an incredible job. It gives you a major market sound in such an incredible package. But there is one area that needs a little work, and that's with manual events. When you try to fire a manual event within a rotation, that's when the carousel of fun stops spinning, song fades out, and then it triggers your event. Well, I wasn't having it. I gotta keep things moving and grooving. Well, I found a cool way to tame those manual events. Let's go and check it out. We are on the air. We'll start this joyride in Audacity. This is a file I recorded, just counting to five. We're gonna use this to test the flaw that is baked into Radio DJ as it pertains to manual events. So over in Radio DJ, I'll show you how I'm gonna use that voice track of me counting to five. I've set the next start cue right on the number three. So let's give this a play. One, two, three, boom, four, five, Right after the number three, that's when the next element should be fired. And if we're talking about a jingle or another song, Radio DJ performs flawlessly, and it does play the next element. But for some reason, not with manual events in a rotation. They don't fire at the next start cue, but only at the end cue. And a lot of times, that just doesn't sound right. By then, your song is completely faded, and it's a real loose sound, which we're looking to prevent. Come on, let's tighten up those radio abs. And I've read in the forums, I'm not the only nut job who's experiencing this. This is a real problem. And I created a rotation to show the problem. So that first item is the voice track and me counting to five with the next cue set to number three. So when you look at this rotation, at that next cue, the event, a manual event, which just triggers a, a sweeper, should be fired, at least in theory. Later on in this rotation, I have the solution. But first, let's take a listen to the problem. So here we go. There's our countdown file. And after the number three, it should hit the manual event. But does it? One, two, three, four, five. Eighties to the extreme. Triple X. Eighties. So obviously it didn't. It waited all the way to the end of the file after number five to trigger the manual event. And it just didn't sound that good. Well, fret not, my radio DJ lovers. A solution awaits. Spoiler, it's pretty anticlimactic. It's simply a silent file. It's a tenth of a second audio file, a dummy file, really, that will trigger manual events within a rotation. Super simple. Just create a tenth of a second silent audio file, import it, Program it properly, make sure it's other file type, given an appropriate name that makes sense to what you're trying to achieve. But the real alchemy happens in the Others tab in the Track Edit window, where you get to select what event you want to fire once this particular track, the silent audio file, starts playing. It's super cool and versatile. But back to our example with the countdown voiceover. For this, I've set the start event to Quick Sweeperoo, which you just heard. But instead of inserting a manual event in the rotation, I've dropped this file into the rotation. And once it hits the next start cue, which is right after the number three, it will then fire off the quick sweeperoo event. And it should do this right on the next cue mark. And this is a very simple manual event that I created that basically triggers two production elements, a station slogan and a station ID. But enough jibber-jabber. Let's hold my feet to the radio fire and see if this works. One, two, three, four, Extreme five. 80s fun. Triple X 80s. Aha! Right on the next cue, it behaves, it does what we tell it to, and it fires off that event. To avoid any confusion, which I think I may have created some, let's make some things clear. I was using that countdown file just to show the lag that exists within Radio DJ when trying to trigger a manual event from a rotation. And I used the start event functionality of that file to trigger that quick sweeperoo event you just heard. But how I typically use these silent files to trigger manual events in a rotation is I have a special 
a category called rotation elements, and subcategories are based on the functionality. Like, for example, the quick sweep event. Well, here it is, and it does not have a next start cue point. It just has a start and an end point. And on the Others tab, the Start event is assigned to Quick sweep -a -roo. And that's how you want to use these silent files. Don't insert a Next event. It will start the manual event at the start point of this silent audio file. But once again, I was using that Countdown voiceover file just to prove the point. And actually, I learned something. If your audio file does have a Next Start uh, cue point, even when the start event is activated, it will wait to the next cue point and not the start cue point. Another really cool thing about using these uh, silent audio files, silent killers as I like to call them, is you can insert them into an active playlist. So let's say you do want to trigger a manual event during a live show with a uh, live playlist. Well, since this is the proper track type, it's not a voiceover or sweeper, I just set it to other because that's pretty versatile, I'm able to drag this right into my playlist and boom, it'll play just like any other element, except it'll trigger this event at the exact moment I expect it to, which in this case, for Crowded House, something so strong, it's at the next start cue point. So the song doesn't completely fade out and sound jinky as hell. So lag be gone. You've now wrestled control away from the radio bots, and your station sounds better. So there you have it. That's how you tame those unruly manual events. Whip them into shape. It's your station. You want a tight sound. No lags or drags or hiccups or bumps. Come on. We're internet broadcasters. That's the cream of the crop. We have to deliver such quality. I'm Jeff, the radio DJ dude. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope this helped you out. If it didn't, oh well. It's just a couple minutes of your life you'll never get back. Maybe you have a topic you'd rather hear about. Well, hit me in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and hit like if you're intoxicated with such uh, generosity. I really appreciate it. And most important, keep rocking those mics all over the world. <laughs> <laughs>